the truth about scavengers. Welcome everyone today. We're going to be talking about scavengers. Is scavengers good? Is it going to blow up? What are the odds of this game being the next big game in the gaming industry? Today we're going to be speaking about all of that good stuff. And I just want to say if you enjoyed today's video and you love scavengers content, be sure to scroll down, click that like button, be sure to subscribe so don't miss out on any more content on the channel. But now let's talk about scavengers. So my main concern with scavengers isn't the actual game itself. I think the concept works really well. It surprised me how well the concept works. The more I've played this game, the more I've come to the realization that it's not a battle royale game. The term battle royale, you know, is more suited to games like Apex Legends, where you go in and all the main focus is, is battle. That is the main focus of that game. This game is completely different. The concept is nowhere near the same as other battle royale games. What's this guy doing? What's this wolf doing trying to interrupt me? Come on now. It's very interesting how each team has a different approach to this game. You have some teams that just don't want to fight at all and they can go on and win the whole game because the whole point is to collect as many data points as you can and then escape in the dropship that um, comes towards the end of the match. And it's really interesting because in another game, I would just be fighting straight away. But here, there's too much to lose. You know, you have to really think to yourself, is it worth fighting this team? Because you could lose all of your data points. You know, you could lose all of your progress. Aggression. So there's a lot of thinking and strategy involved with this game and a lot of teams just don't want to fight each other because there's too much on the line to lose. As you guys can see on the top right, there's still 19 teams alive. No one has gone down yet. No one has been eliminated and everyone is just preparing themselves for that late stage when it gets chaotic and everyone tries to board the dropship. This campfire here, you can basically use campfires to warm up um, because your bottom left um, corner, there's a temperature meter and I've already frozen to death four times playing this game four times. But yeah, my concern isn't with the game because I think the concept works really well. I've been having so much fun. But my concern is how well other games are doing and how hard it is for a new game to cause an impact, you know, in the battle royale genre, for example. We've seen loads of great games come out. We've seen Hyperscape, that spell break game as well, which I thought was really cool. And them games just died very quickly. This game could be one of them games and it's just so hard for a new game to blow up nowadays purely because of how well other games are doing. And it's really hard to pull the audience away from them games to come and play this game. Okay, the, so we've got AI enemies here. My teammate has gone down. Um, these guys shouldn't be too hard to take down. These are quite easy bots to take down. They have got shields, but they're really not that hard to take down. Um, my teammate is probably an inexperienced player. I mean, the game's just come out, so... We have to just keep making sure we collect our data points. Um, but you can play this game however you want. You can be one of them players that don't collect data points, whereas you steal them. You can steal data points by obviously eliminating enemy players. Once you've eliminated an enemy, their data points just drop on the floor. You can collect them. Um, or you can be that player that, you know, plays very strategically, loots around the whole map, collects as many data points, and just tries to avoid gunfights. And you could go on and win the game that way. You know, you can play the game how you want. And that's why I think this game has the potential, because it suits pretty much any play style out there. This bow is the most satisfying thing in the game. I'm not even joking. But so far, since I've been playing this game, I haven't really come across any things where I'm like, oh, do you know what? I don't really like this aspect of the game because everything works. The only thing I will say I haven't really enjoyed are the storms. The storms are really dangerous and I've frozen to death so many times. But that's part of the game, you know? Um, there's a lot of thinking involved. You have to think in advance, you know, think ahead. Uh, because as you guys can see, there's storms there. They, they're going to come in soon. So we should probably hit this area here to collect some more data points. Um, let me mark it on the map for my teammates. And this is what you do, you know, um, in the beginning to mid stages of the game. You just basically go to each base. You collect as many data points and salvage as you can on them bases. Um, our team's actually leveled up, so let me upgrade my shield here. Something I'm worried about is how much advertising there's going to be for this game. Because in order for any game to do well, you know, you need to have some really good advertising. I just hope they've got the budget to advertise this game really well. Because as I said, everything's there. The potential's there. There haven't been many server problems. I know some people have run into quite a few server issues. Um, but to be honest, I haven't had many server issues myself. Um, as you guys can see, we're approaching another base here. There's still 16 teams alive. So en enemies really don't die early on here. Because everyone's trying to, you know, play it safe and get their team ready for, for that dropship. As you guys can see, I'm running really slow now because I've run out of um, energy. You run out of energy really quickly in this game when you're running, sliding, doing anything like that. <laughs> Headshots with this bow are so satisfying, honestly. Look at that. It's the most satisfying thing in the game. That's another thing. You need to watch out for third party because when you're taking down these AIs in these bases, you know, enemies will be able to hear that around the map. Uh, we can actually upgrade our shield again. Our team's leveling up really fast. Okay, let's see where the next closest base is. Um... I think we should probably head over here, maybe. But the problem is, the reason why it's so risky to fight enemy teams is, for example, if an enemy team comes now and they fight us and they kill us as well, 
they can collect our data points so they're going to collect 135 data points and they'll instantly go to first place that's why it's so risky to fight enemy teams you truly have to think is this gunfight worth it what have i got to lose compared to what the enemy's got to lose if you're first place on data points it might not be worth fighting anyone to be honest with you okay we've got data points here to collect nice second place right now let's go we can keep this up we could win this game oh my god Oh, headshots. I keep saying about headshots, but honestly, if, if you've played this game, you'll know what I mean. Headshots with this bow is probably the best thing in this game. <laughs> Look at all these data points. These things here, these gold things, um, these basically spit out data points. Um, as you guys can see, they just keep spitting out data points. We're first place. Let's go. As you guys can see, we've got a supply drop coming in. Where is this supply drop on the map? I think we should hit it. Oh, it's all the way up there. There's no way we can hit that. But now the game's gone into early, um, open early access. Before, you needed a key. And in order to do that, you had to watch Twitch streams. Now the game has officially gone into open early access, which means you can download the game without a key now on Steam. And um, we should get quite a few more players playing the game. Um, but now is the ultimate, you know, the most important time for scavengers. This is like the make or break moment. Is the game going to do well? Is it going to die within a few weeks? You know, I really hope this game does well because I think it's got a lot of potential. Even with content, there is so much they can do with future content. The map is huge. I've only explored probably 60, 65% of the map. I mean, the map is so big. But just in terms of content, there is so much they can do with this game. It'll really be a shame to see this game die off. I've played quite a few Battle Royales and I know when a game hasn't got potential, but this game has. It's got so much. Is this a real team? This is a real team right now. Oh my God. Do we need to fight this team with first place? Okay, I think my team wants to fight, so screw it. Let's just fight. I've got a grenade here. Let's throw some grenades. He's so low, that guy. Oh, did we get him? Oh, my team. oh he's here. They're here. Let's go. Let me finish him off. We've got so many data points. Let me get them data points. All right, let me level up my shield as well. There's a campfire over here as well to keep warm. Let's go. Where are they at? No way. <gasps> I'm going to run. If I stay alive, my team... Oh my God, this is not looking good. If I can stay alive, my teammates can spawn back in. It's not worth fighting right now. It's not worth fighting. That's what you need to think. It's going to be like a one versus three. It's really not worth it. But I don't think they're chasing me. It's just a shame because they managed to steal my teammates' data points. Now they're first place. But oh well. It is what it is. I mean, there's not much you can do. Okay, I've got my teammate back in. Yeah, this guy, is he's not taking risks. He looks like he's on his own, actually. Okay, now these guys are pushing. Let's go over here. All my teammates are back. Let's go. Right, do we fight this? We're 12th 12, we're 12 place in data points right now, so it's probably worth it. Okay, I eliminated one. I've got one down. Another one down. Oh, my teammate's coming in. What's my teammate? What is this guy on about? This guy needs to chill out. Let me just eliminate this guy. I think that was the team that were trying to fight me before, to be honest. Okay, we're in another base now. Some more opportunity to get data points and salvage as well. Whoever's in first place, I got 301 data points right now. They're killing it. But overall, I think this game's great. It's not the typical boring going into a game, just killing enemies. You know, there's so much more involved. If anything, killing enemies is the least of your problems in this game. Whoa, where's that? Oh my God, I got a wolf on me. There are teams everywhere right now. I see them, they're all here. Oh my god, he's really low, that guy. I'm about to die, probably. Oh, let's go. Look how many points we got right now. There's, a, there's more teams, there's more teams, there's one coming right now. There's one right here. There's a team right here, right in front of us right now. How did I die? Just try and stay alive, try and run away. 
Oh, damn. We got eliminated. I am still not sure how I went down in that situation. I think it's a bug in that specific area. If any of you guys have any idea why I went down, be sure to let me know down below. Overall, first impressions are really good of this game. I've been loving this game so far. And if you play on PC, be sure to download this game. Give it a go. It's now in open early access, so you don't have to have a key or anything like that. Jump on board with this game and let me know what you think down below in the comment section. I really hope this game builds up a community, a very large community, because it has potential and it deserves a spot being one of the top games to play. But nonetheless, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Thank you all for watching this video. Enjoy the rest of your day. And as always, I'll catch all of you guys out in another brand new video. Take care.